Our new parts have been completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. It was 35 years ago that the late great Nicky Lauda took his 25th and final Grand Prix win here at Zandvoort. He came from 10th on the grid to beat his McLaren teammate Alain Prost by just two tenths of a second. Well, Zandvoort is a very different circuit today, of course, but still one with an incredible legacy. And we're going to add to that. Welcome along to the 2020 Dutch Grand Prix. A lap of this short 2.6 mile Zandvoort circuit features 14 corners, 10 to the right and 4 to the left. The main straight is 678 metres long and heads into turn 1, the Tarzan corner. With DRS down the main straight into the braking zone, that could be the best overtaking opportunity on the track. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Now, let's kick off our conversation with Alexander Albon. Looks like they've got a tough race in store today as grid penalties from changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. But on the bright side, at least those fresh components can help them maintain the power they need to come through the pack. I expect to see them take a more aggressive approach today to make up for the compromised start. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Max Verstappen and Perez, Stroll, Norris, Ricardo, and more. Gasly, Ocon, Daniel Kvyat and Raikkonen. Magnussen, Albon, they've taken a grid penalty. George Russell and Carlos Sainz. Grosjean and Nicolas Latifi. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish.
excellent work for MGUH. Overheating the engine will exacerbate the issue, so keep the temps under control. Exit, exit now. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. So Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. Let's have a quick look at how the driver standings have changed. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? I have to give it to Moore. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt maximised their potential. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One.